uh, good day to Dr. Michael, Ms. Aswani, and those who are watching our video on YouTube. We are from Group 5 KLNY going to present our project with the title of Smart Drone Food Delivery. Our group members are Kam Kai Heng, Lo Wing Liang, Mo Chang Jing, and Myung Tung Wei. So my name is Mo Chang Jing. Let's begin our presentation with what is Smart Food Drone Delivery. Smart Food Drone Delivery is a method of delivering food using drones. The concept involves using drones equipped with advanced technologies like artificial intelligence, GPS, and computer vision to deliver food from restaurant to the customer home. Yeah, so most of the time, the food order is placed online or through a mobile app. Then a drone is sent to the restaurant or grocery store to pick out the order and deliver it to customer location. So one of the reasons that inspired us to do this project is because of high carbon emission. In Malaysia, people will deliver the food by using transport like motorcycle and cars. So the greenhouse gas that is produced by those transport will crack heat and hence make the earth become warmer. This may cause climate change on the earth and make the weather become more extreme and unpredictable in each country that will cause disadvantage to the earth environment, human and also animals. The second problem is traffic accident may occur. In Malaysia, we can frequently so many food riders dead because of sending food to the customer. Therefore, our project are here to solve the problem. The third problem is late delivery. This may cause the customer to be angry if they are hungry and want to eat their food as soon as possible. Hence, food drone delivery system is a better option to be chosen as it can reduce the problem that I stated just now. So our presentation will continue to our objective of our project. The main objective of developing the smart drone food delivery system is to provide a more efficient option for food delivery services to customer and the F&B industry. With this system, food seller can deliver their food without the help of human food rider. Instead, they can buy a food drone to support their business. Additionally, this system is built to reduce carbon emission as the drone use batteries as their main uh, energy supply. So the shop owner only need to recharge the drone when their battery are low and they will be back in service in just a few hours. Another objective of this project is to prevent traffic accident. By using a food drone delivery services, traffic accident can be avoided completely as the drone are flying on the sky and do not face any traffic issue. So, in order to achieve our objective, a food delivery platform will be created which stimulate uh, the order placed by the user. So the user must create a membership account to use the food delivery services and can start placing their food order thereafter. The record of orders will be saved in DynamoDB for future reference. Assume the drone goes to the shop to collect the order placed by user. Once the shop successfully packed the food and placed it in the drone container, the food will receive instruction to fly to the destination. At the same time, the user will receive an email from the SES services inform them that the drone is delivering their order. During the delivery period, the drone camera will take a picture of the container and send it to recognition to detect if the food is still inside. If the food is still in good condition, the drone will receive a result from recognition indicating that it can continue to the destination. Uh, so when the drone is reached the destination, Another email will be sent to the user informing them to get ready to receive their order. Finally, the user can complete their order on the food delivery platform indicating that the food has been delivered in good condition. Yeah, so now I will be pass the mic to the next speaker, Yong Tung Wei, to continue the presentation. Thank you. My name is Yong Tung Wei and now I will start, I will start presenting the architecture diagram. So first, customer will log in to the Rampify via internet uh, using the Cognitor services. After the user authentication, the customer can start accessing to Amplify to place order. When a new place, when new, new order is placed, the information will be sent to the App Sync and stored into the DynamoDB. When a new DynamoDB uh, record is stored, the Lambda will be triggered to send the information to restaurants so that the restaurants can start preparing the food. After the restaurant finishes the food, the lam another lambda will be triggered to send email uh, for confirmation to the customer so that the customer can uh, customer will know that the food is finished and will start delivering. 
the lambda will also send information uh will send a instruction to iot core to let the drone know that the food is hanging on to the bucket so that it can start delivering but before delivering the drone will take a, a snapshot of the food and send the s3 so that the lambda will be triggered to retrieve the image to uh from the s3 to the recognition so that it can analyze if the food is there or not before taking off and not taking off uh, when the drone arrived or near the destination the lambda will be triggered to send an email to the customer to let them know that they should go out and take the food that's all from now good day to dr michael and dr ashwani my name is lo Wang liang and i will present about this blue circle section in our architecture diagram which is amazon cognito aws amplify aws app sync and Amazon Dynamo DB and how all these services are related together. First, I will demo on how to use the React app that is deployed to the web with Amplify hosting to start make food order from the restaurant. So now we are in the AWS console home. So let's click into this AWS Amplify. So KLMY food order app is our Amplify project that used in our assignment. And let's click into it. So there is a domain generated by the uh, by the Amplify server because we have published and deployed the our Amplify project to the web using the Amplify hosting. So now let's click into it to build our the React app. So before we can proceed to the home page of the uh, food order system, the system requires us to sign in or create an account if we are a new user. So now I will try to sign in to a system. So the so the sign in as well as the create account, uh, it will verify the details with the Amazon Cognito. The Amazon Cognito will do the authentication part for for this section. So we are now in the uh, home page of the food ordering system. Let's try to submit some food order. So this message tells us that uh, we as a customer have successfully submitted the order. And let's go to the DynamoDB to see whether the record is successfully added into the database table. So now we are in the DynamoDB section in the AWS console and the table section. So this one is the database table that related to our Amplify project. And let's explore the table items. So the so yeah, the details are matched with the the input that I inserted just now. And yeah. So when we customers uh, submit the food order, the status is actually pending that show in the previous uh, the Dynamo TV just now. And let's click the following button to complete order if we successfully receive the food. So now let's click the complete order. So the console tells us that uh, the thanks for ordering with us. Enjoy your email. Enjoy your meal. Okay. So now let's get back to the Dynamo DB to see the changes. So when we get back to the Dynamo DB and we click the previous item, now the status has been changed from pending to delivered to show that the food is successfully delivered to the customer. And actually, the modify of the, the app adding of the record to the database or modify the attribute of the record in the database is using the app sync, the AWS app sync service, which is the GraphQL is used in our assignment. And that is all my part for the uh, Amplify section. Thank you. Now I'll be presenting the two Lambda function that is associated to sending email to customer. And this is these two lambda will be combined for demonstration purposes. Now we'll move on to the first lambda 
which will be triggered by DynamoDB and send an email when the finish when the resident finish the order. There are four functions inside the Lambda. The first one is to send email, which contain the subject data, and then and then to send the email using the SCS services. The second function is to verify the email identity. Since the SCS service is in testing environment, it cannot send the email. Uh, it can also send email to unverified email address. So there, there will be a lambda to make sure that we will send an verified email to the email address so that they can subscribe to the SCS services. Another function to make sure that we did not send the same email to the verified uh, email address. So there will be a function to check that the email address is verified or not. Then the lambda handler will be you will be taking uh, everything together. And it will only trigger if the event name inside the DynamoDB is insert. Now let's move on to the second lambda, which will send the email to the customer when the food is near or arrived to the destination. And here, there's only two functions. One will be used to send the email, and another, another is a lambda handler that will trigger the send email function and send the email to the customer. That's all. My name is Kam Kane, and now I'll present about the drone module part. So let's start with the AWS IoT code. So this IoT code will actually act as a drone itself to receive the message from the Lambda, which is the result of the recognition. So this is the model that we use to recognize the, the, the image. Yeah, this one. So this is the lambda to recognize the image. In this case, we are assuming that the lambda will only take the one image from the S3 bucket. This is the bucket of the, the data set. Now. So when, for example, the 5 PNG is actually contain a food itself. So we have one run the test, so it will return it had recognized the container at the food. So before this, we haven't subscribed the topic to from the LT call. So we will now subscribe the LT call first. Yeah. Uh, as you can see here, this is the topic that we need to subscribe. So, okay, let's subscribe to this topic. Okay, once we subscribe to this topic, we run the test, we run the lambda function again. So okay. this is the result. And this is the result received by the drone. This is the IoT call. And this will help, this will indicate how this how this flow works. So basically you will just retrieve the image from the S3 bucket first, pass to the recognition, and recognition will will take place to recognize whether there is a food inside the drone. And lastly, the lambda will pass the result back to the IoT com. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Yeah, so that's all for our group presentation. Thank you, your patience for watching our group video until here. If you like the video, make sure you press the like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel, UCCD 3113 Distributed Computer System. Thank you.